Hello, today I'll be ranking all the Pantera albums, just the main studio albums, no EPs, live albums, compilations, or anything like that. Again, just the main studio albums. But yeah, this video was requested by Shark Eat Spy 789 Thank you for the request. But yeah, this was a, another fairly easy ranking for me. There might be one or two albums that might move around within my ranking, but that's really it though. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this. I'll be going from worst to best. Keep in mind, this is just my personal ranking. You don't have to agree with it, but feel free to let me know your ranking in the comment section below. So at the bottom, which was an easy choice for me, it is the debut album, Metal Magic. So yeah, I honestly rarely return to anything off this album. Uh, there's just not a whole lot here that really stands out to me. If I remember correctly, some of the better or stronger songs on here, Widowmaker and Ride My Rocket, as dumb as that song is a little bit, I actually think that's one of the, maybe one of the better songs on here. But yeah, not a whole lot here again that really stands out to me, but not terrible, not god awful by any means, but again, easily my least favorite from the band. The next we'll be moving to their second album, Projects in the Jungle. So yeah, I do like this one a little bit more, but kind of like with Metal Magic, this is an album that I rarely return to. My favorite song on here is easily the song Like Fire. Pretty good song, but yeah. Again, another album that's one of their weakest. Next we'll be moving to I Am The Night. So yeah, in my opinion, the best album they did with Terry Glaze. And Terry Glaze, I actually don't mind his vocals on the on these three albums that he did. But I think we I think his best performance is on this album. Um, I do like the title track. Hot and Heavy is a decent song. Down Below is another decent song on here too. But yeah, kind of like with the other Terry Glaze albums, there's, there's not a whole lot here that I return to all that much. But still, again, out of all the Terry Glaze albums, I think this one is easily the best. And now we'll be moving to the final album of their glam era, and that is Power Metal. But with this one, this one's a bit heavier than, of course, the previous three. And so, yeah, enters Phil and Selmo, and vocally, pretty damn good in this album, actually. Such as in songs like Rock the World, for example. I do like Dime's vocals in PST88, or Pussy Tight. Um, I also like the title track. Um, Death Traps is a song that I remember thought thinking it was decent, but yeah, overall, not a bad album. A good album, not great or amazing, but overall still again, a good album. And if you haven't heard this album, I'd say check it out, especially if you like Phil Anselmo and his vocals. But next I'll be moving to their final album, Reinventing the Steel. So yeah, um... Maybe not the strongest album to go off on, but at the same time, not a bad one either. Um, never been one of my favorites from the band. It's usually always towards the middle when it comes to ranking their discography, more towards the middle, but still it has some pretty killer songs on here like Death Rattle and Goddamn Electric. You've Got to Belong To It is one of my favorite songs on the album. Uh, I really like that song a lot, especially the guitar work from Dime, of course. Um, I'll Cast a Shadow, Revolution Is My Name, probably my favorite uh, of the singles, or actually that might have been the only single on here, I could be wrong about that, but either way, Revolution Is My Name, pretty good song, but yeah, overall, pretty good Pantera album, again, never been one of my favorites, but still, solid album. The next we'll be moving to Great Southern Trend Kill. Arguably, maybe their darkest album, but also a contender for maybe being their heaviest. Honestly, it's kind of a fight between Far Beyond Driven or this album for me in terms of thinking which one is the heaviest that the band has done. But yeah, this album, again, dark, heavy, and overall, pretty killer album. Uh, it's never been my favorite album from the band, but still, overall, pretty good Pantera album. I mean, some of the highlights on here for me, War Nerve. I really dig the, the I really dig the riff work, especially from Diamond that song, which of course no surprise. And Floods, honestly, one of their best songs. Um, maybe well, probably top fifteen, maybe top ten. I absolutely love that song. 
it's dark and it is on the more slower side but it's also dark kind of menacing and i just really dig the overall vibe of that song and it also has one of dime's solo one of dime's best solos in my opinion i'm sure many fans would agree with me on that especially if you've heard that song drag the waters another highlight off the album I do like the Suicide Note songs, parts one and two. Uh, part two being maybe one of the heaviest moments on the album. But yeah, pretty good Pantera album. The next we'll be moving to Far Beyond Driven. So yeah, for the longest time, this was actually my favorite album from the band, but it actually moved back a little bit, two spots. But you know what, there might be days where this might be my favorite, but of course it'll just depend on my mood, but still, at least one of their best by far. It will always be in my top three at least, but yeah, awesome album. Uh, I think it starts off pretty strong with a pretty heavy cut on here, Strength Beyond Strength. But then you have the song Becoming, which I think is maybe one of their most underrated songs, but and also one of my favorites on the album. And the singles on here are, of course, great. Five Minutes Alone, I'm Broken, definitely some of their best work. Um, you get more towards the second half where you do get some pretty interesting stuff like uh, 25 Years, Shedding Skin, riff-wise, some, uh, some of the best moments on the album. Uh, maybe one of my favorite songs on the album too, actually. Use My Third Arm is a song that over time has grown to be another favorite of mine on the album. I really like that song. Now you do have their cover of Planet Caravan, which I've always liked but never loved. Maybe it's a song that I might have to return to more often, potentially maybe, but either way, I do like the cover, but again, never loved it. But yeah, overall, really good album from Pantera, and of course, easily one of their best, in my opinion. But next we'll be moving to the album that really brought the commercial success for them, and that is, of course, Cowboys From Hell. And yeah, definitely a killer album and easily one of their best. And I'm sure many fans would agree with me on that. Um, I mean, I mean the title track, definitely one of their best songs, definitely one of their anthems and a really great song, really great way to open up the album. Honestly, you really can't go wrong with those first seven songs, especially. Um, Cycle Holiday, I absolutely love that song. That's a song that, that's grown to be one of my favorite Pantera songs. Heresy, rhythmically and guitar wise, pretty kick-ass and another favorite of mine on the album cemetery gates is, is i know is gonna i know is in my top five favorite pantera songs i absolutely love that song especially phil's vocals maybe this song is one of has one of best one of uh, phil and Selma's best vocal performances especially towards the end really great song definitely one of their best songs by far at least in my opinion domination is also great um I'll, and I haven't seen Pantera live, but I will be seeing them live with Metallica in 2024, and I'm really looking forward to that. And when they play that song, if they play that song, I'm going to definitely lose it. I mean, Domination, awesome song. Shattered, I think, is maybe one of their most underrated songs. I mean, that song is just killer. Um, and I think the album starts off fairly, or ends off in a strong note with The Art of Shredding, another song that I think is honestly pretty underrated. But yeah really great album definitely a classic so yeah to my number one vulgar display of power so yeah nowadays this one is my favorite again for the longest time it was far beyond driven but now this one is my favorite i mean you really can't go wrong with any of the songs on here i know for some people from track six or seven and on the album is not as strong, but I mean, I actually really dig the second half of the album. I don't think there's a weaker half or anything like that. I Personally, I really enjoy both halves. Uh, this is one of those albums that you can definitely sit through the whole thing and not really have a whole lot in terms of skips. Maybe one or two songs that are maybe skippable, but honestly, there isn't really any songs in here, at least for me, that I'd say are skippable or week or anything like that again another classic album of course a landmark album in the world of metal especially when it comes to 90s metal such and another album that comes to mind of course is demanufactured by fear factory but yeah this album i mean you really can't go wrong with any of the songs on here mouth for war love that song a new level absolutely love the groove of the groove of that song 
you do have their big song on here walk um fucking hostile is also really good one of their more thrashy songs you could say this love which is the bet which is or one of the ballads on the album really great song hollow being the other uh ballad on here another pretty good song i'd say hollow has never been one of my favorites but i do like that song rise honestly that rise hasn't maybe grown to be another favorite pantera song for me i absolutely love that song i mean rhythmically and riff wise absolutely love that song no good attack the radical another song i really enjoy i mean again can't go wrong with any of the songs on here and again probably my favorite pantera album So that is my ranking of the Pantera albums. Let me know your thoughts on my ranking. Do you agree or disagree with some of my placements in my ranking? Let me know your ranking in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite songs or albums or least favorites uh, from the band and in the comment section below and all the good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and like, subscribe. Have a nice day and take care.